Alrighty, and today I'm going to show you how to make some hidden veg meatballs. So, what we have to do is grate our hidden veg first. And what we're going to do first is our courgette. Is there only one courgette? So, we're going to do one courgette. We're going to use a box cutter and we're going to use this side. Um, box grater, I mean. And we're just going to go for it. And this is a great one to do because there's not much cutting involved. So, now we move on to the mushrooms. We have to do six. Two, four, five, six. And we just do those. These are actually really easy to eat. But just mind your hands and fingers because you don't want to go like that. So we're going to get our onion and we're only going to use one. You can just use a knife to cut the top off. And we just. This is a slightly harder than the mushrooms. So normally I'd be wearing my goggles for this because, you know, you can cry with this. but. This one's not too bad, so you don't have to get the goggles out. Grow, grow, grow away. So, so all we have to do is add two garlic glues, and then we can reveal the tower. And now for the big reveal, that was underwhelming. That's just great. <laughs> so I'm going to put this in a bowl for later. So we would let this fry for 10 minutes and let it cool and make it all nice and soft, but this one over here and that's nice and cool and ready to go and now we have to add our beef mince and pork mince and now you're going to add our breadcrumbs and our parmesan and then we're going to add our egg that's a good egg i think i like the color of it so now this is a fun part when you squeeze it and squish it into a Sort of mixture. I just bursted that egg and it felt wrong. Make sure you have nice clean hands. So we're going to have a little clean down and then we're going to make them into meatballs. So we've had a little clean down and now we're going to roll our balls. So you need a bowl of water so it keeps the meat stop sticking to your hands. Like that. See? No meat on the hands. So We've got our hands nice and wet now, we're going to roll them into balls. So this is the size that you need it. Put that on our tray. Okay, we're doing my last one now. There we go. And I've done my bowl. And now we're going to fry these in the pan. And we're going to eat them. And now we can turn the, the gas on. And then we put some oil in there. Not too much. In a minute, when this heats it up, we can put our balls into the pan and it can cook. Da, 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 da. And whilst that pan is heating up, it's a perfect opportunity for you to tell me what to cook next. Okay, so I'm here with my friend Jeff and he says, anyone that says hashtag Jeff is good and they should like the video. Right, so I think our pan is hot enough now and we can go in with Jeff first because he's a special one. Um, so we just pop them in. They're frying! Last one. Sadly not Jeff, he's gone. So they're cooking and every minute or so you should turn them over and then they'll be golden brown. So I'm gonna give our meatballs a flip. Got a little spatula here, spatula thing. So we've made a bit of space here and we can put our garlic in. We've got some garlic here and we're gonna just chop that up. So I've chopped it up into pieces, then you can use the crops chop method to chop it up into even smaller pieces. So now we can put that in the gap where we made it, here. So we give that a little fry. Lovely hidden vegetables, you can't see it, but if you, if you look, here's Jeff. Well, they look great, I'm excited to eat them. So the garlic's done, and now we need to add some tomato passata. There we go. So you can get an adult to do this because this is actually really hot. Um, I'm just pouring some of this tomato sauce onto the meatballs. And now we're going to cook these for 30 minutes until they're nice and cooked. So I've done my meatballs and my sauce has thickened up. And whilst that was happening, I made some pasta, spaghetti. And what we can do, let's get our plate here, get a bit of pasta there. And now we've done that, um, our meatballs are done, and we can scoop some of my meatballs and our sauce into our pasta. There we are. 
and that's our plate of meatballs and pasta and to top it off we can put this on top and we've also got a grater and some parmesan so we can just get some parmesan in there and this is when we try our hidden veggie spaghetti meaty balls and get some of that Give me 10 minutes and this will be gone. I want you guys to have a go. Upload your videos to Instagram and tag them at Cooking Buddies Club.